Before I visit the club, I have to take a detour. I've got a feeling that this case isn't going to be a one-man job. And there's only one bird in the city I can trust. My ex-partner, Marty. He's going to be at the station. I can only hope he'll be willing to talk to me. I knew where to find Marty. At the station, we'd always draw straws about holiday duty. Marty never joined in. He always took the New Year's Eve shift, even though he had someone to go home to. I understood. Ten years ago, we survived the night the press called the Bloody New Year. Forgotten by Clawville, but not by us. We both left parts of ourselves behind that night. So, die FPS und zeige die Seele gar nicht. Okay, dann passt das alles. Gut, dann reden wir mit Phyllis. Well, look at that. Hey, Sonny. What are you scratching out over here? I heard the big boss threw you out. Tough luck, boys. I may not be on duty, but I'm still a cop. Just like you. Well, more than you. Hey. You don't have to be so peckish, old bud. By the way, you're in luck. Blood boils not in tonight. The law is in charge. Oh, God. That clumsy buffalo is here tonight. If he doesn't end up in a cell again, he's lucky. <laughs> you got it. You looking for Marty, eh? I see you're still the brains around here, Phyllis. Yeah, I'm looking for Marty. Birds of a feather flock together. I see you're still the funny guy around here. You'll find the giant feather duster at the shooting range. As always. Hey, boys. I'm telling you this because maybe you'll be able to understand. If this prickly shithead makes another racist remark, I'll strangle him with his own raincoat. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Hey, whose side are you on, you jerk? Das gefällt mir stilistisch schon echt sehr gut und auch ähm, die Voice-Overs sind sehr gut. Die Musik und die ganze Stimmung und diese Noirs. Die Back in the day, I used to patrol the city streets in one of these. I don't miss it, but it used to have its advantages. Here we are again, Clawville Police Department. I've never been good at history, but if I'm not mistaken, this place has been a church, a hospital, and even some insane cult's secret hideout over the years. Anyway, the place holds the secrets of the ages, and some drunk pigs in the basement. Mort Mardigan, a notorious deadbeat. Poor guy's been blind since his teenage years. But that doesn't stop him from running into trouble. What the cluck did he do this time? Mort, you scabbiest beast. What the hell did you do? If Morty to you, sonny boy. Everything's fine. There was just a bit of trouble in the bar, and someone got knocked on the head with a glass. It wasn't my fault. I'm as blind as a bat, am I right? <laughs> Did that ever bother you, Morty? Listen, sonny boy. Go tell them to leave me alone, eh? It's New Year's Eve, after all, and I didn't even do anything wrong. Not that wrong. Where's your little lapdog to get you out of this mess? Is that little pimp of a midget still sniffing around you? Uh, Jesse is a good boy, Sonny. And he's good to me, believe me. Oh, God, spare me the details. When will you finally realize that little shit's been using you? Oh, of course he's using me. <laughs> what could a pretty boy like him want from this old monster? Still, Sonny, I have no one else. 
You understand that, don't you? Even you deserve better, pal. By the way, you look horrible, even for yourself. Are you feeling okay? Well, I'm not what I used to be. But neither are you, judging from your voice. But I'm seeing a doctor, Sammy boy. I really am. Are you? Don't need to, Mort. I'm fine. Anyway, if Bubo prescribed you something, don't even think about taking it. I don't talk to that insane owl. Damn right. Please, say something on my behalf, okay? I really don't have time for this detective buffalo shit. Hey, careful with that. Buffalo Malloy is the chief today. <laughs> like I care. I'll try to speak for you, but keep it down till then, okay? You don't need this shit, and I don't need it either. Sonny boy, you've always been a good friend. <laughs> More like a clucking pigeon. Detective Chow Hound Bosco. He thinks he's a real alpha, but nah, he's just a lap dog. Ich erinnere mich so ein bisschen an Black Sad, was ja letztes Jahr, glaube ich, erschienen ist, wo man einen Detektiv als Karte, also eine Karte als Detektiv gespielt hat und hat aber auch ähm, Nashörner und so ganz viele Tiere, die dann Charaktere eingenommen haben, was auch ein Noastie war, allerdings nicht in Schwarz-Weiß gehalten. Das ist ziemlich ähnlich so, nur dass man hier sich ein bisschen freier bewegen kann, habe ich so den Eindruck zumindest, aber es ist ja nur eine Demo. Ein Release Date gibt es übrigens noch nicht für das Spiel. Okay, reden wir mal was vor. Holy wild ones, look what the cat dragged in. Hello to you too, Bosco. I see you're busy as always. Eh, I've been sniffing around one of the rundown joints. You know how it goes. And boom, this son of a lizard comes flying out the window. I didn't know the lizards could fly. <laughs> so. Mort was being a bad, bad boy again. Nothing unusual. And you? Still dying? I'm still a cop for another 121 days, Bosco. It's as unpleasant to me as it is to you. All right, all right. No need to bite. I wasn't trying to mess with you. You have Moses and Plato for that. And of course, blood boil. Let's hope I won't run into any of them tonight. Looking for Marty, eh? Ever since you left, he's kind of lost. He's trying to hide it, but he's not the same bird. Well, I don't think we'll have a teary reunion, thinking about how we parted. Let me give you some advice, Sonny. Let him rage. He'll be the same after that. Anyway, he was the one that shot you, right? You should be mad, not him. It's not that simple, Bosco. But we'll see how he reacts. Thanks anyway. No worries, pal. One of Blood Boil's favorites, mainly because he's a dog, of course. Officer Jardine. They say she's clever, smart, and dangerous. We need more of her kind in here. Honor, strength, unity. <laughs> For the love of the wild gods, I'm gonna be sick. Also somehow cold and distant. The kind you'd like to invite for a coffee, but you know would say no, no matter who you are or what you do. Hey, Monica. Hey, Boss Bird. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be celebrating somewhere? Every day's a holiday since I got out of here. I can tell. But what are you doing here? Are you here for a file? You know, I'm a little busy right now. Yeah, you could look after a few things for me, but first, I'd like to talk to Mr. Big Beak McChicken himself. Those two prickly assholes told me he's emptying the magazines in the hole. Like always. And if he carries on like that, he's gonna use up all our ammo. So it would be nice if you drag him out of there. You know how this day is for him. 
<laughs> For him? You know I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I know. Okay, so just sign here and you're good to go. Thank you, darling. Don't mention it, boss bird. Haupttag. Das ist eine komische deutsche Übersetzung, da war es ein bisschen holprig. Aber es ist echt schön gemacht. Die Dialoge sind echt gut. Die Charaktere sind vielschichtig. Was haben wir denn jetzt hier schon alles? Katzen Cobra. to meet Deputy Malloy or any of my ex-colleagues from the Predatory Division. Predatory Division is not... Oh, she This is me. gonna be a hard ride. Last time we saw each other, he had a smoking gun in his hand and I was bleeding. I don't know how we can get past that, but it's worth a try. Sure. Marty looks good. Big and loud and angry as always. Hey, Marty. Oh, well, look who's here. Hello, boss bird. What, are you lost? This is the PD building, you know? Got this shit, Marty. We're better than this. Well, at least you are. Better than anyone, huh? Marty, come on, let's forget that. What's past is past. Yeah, easy for you to say, Sonny. Damn it, Marty, you shot me, remember? I almost bled to death. Hell yeah, I remember. Unfortunately, my aim wasn't good enough. I need your help, okay? That's what you want to hear. Well, it's a start. Okay, I've said it. I won't do it again. <laughs> yeah, right. So, are you in? Just for tonight. Small case. We'll wrap it up in no time. Uh, what kind of case? A personal one. How personal? Very. The kind of case where if you come with me right now, you're not on duty anymore. Oh, damn, Sonny. Stop it right there. I'm in. That's... that's it? Uh, do you know how boring life is here without your stupid reckless shit? Soon enough, I'll shoot all the ammo in here out of boredom. Right, so, tell me, what's it about? I'll tell you in the car. Ooh, can I bring Bertha? Ah, oh, for the love of... Marty, this is a routine case. You can't bring your shotgun, okay? Bertha stays. Okay, okay. But at least Susie can come, right? Ah, <sighs> all right. Susie can come. That's what I want to hear. Susi ist wahrscheinlich der Revolver. Aber heilige äh, äh, Legebatterie, das ist schon ganz gut in der Besetzung teilweise. Also geht teilweise noch mal einen Schritt weiter als in Voice Over. Wenn wir schon so ein Fadenkreuz haben, liegt das irgendwie auf der Hand, dass wir jetzt so Moorhuhnartige Episoden haben. Controller funktioniert übrigens nicht, mag aber an der Demo liegen. Oder daran, dass ich ihn erst später angeschaltet habe, mal sehen. Ja, okay. 4 von 5 Sternen, ist okay. Jetzt ist zum Menü. Nee, wollen wir nicht hin. Ach, was mache ich denn aber? Bye, Mandy. See you soon. Yeah, <lacht> you've named the poster girl. You a bit lonely these days? You're one to talk. I've heard you muttering to her. What, me? To a poster? Don't be silly. Find ich 
ganz gut ist auch, dass man anhand der Gestik dann teilweise auch ein bisschen die Dialoge lesen kann, wenn schon die Mimik etwas schwierig ist aufgrund der Animal Heads. Still drink coffee? Yeah, my only poison. Except for guns, of course. And women. We could visit our old haunt. What do you think? Oh, a nice cup of Zips coffee in the hop dog. I'm in. Oh, and maybe we'll get into a little fight too, huh? If it comes to that, I'm leaving you without a blink. Oh yeah, like last time? Those were uh, different times, Marty. With a different Sonny. Uh, well, all right. To the city then. You don't have to come with me, you know. Okay, okay, I know. Let's go. Sonny, there's a little problem. Not so little, and it smells too. What the furry hell is Blood Boil doing here? Ah, well, it seems we can't avoid speaking to him. Oh yes, we can. You have your rifle with you, right? W what? <laughs> Just kidding. Sort of. The chief doesn't seem to be in a good mood. But he never is, actually. What a surprise. The two pigeons back together. And without my permission, of course. Chief Bloodboil. Damn. What was that, Santino? Nothing, sir. What a lovely evening. Am I right? I don't want to hear your crowing, Santino. What the hell are you doing here? Hey, 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 careful with the racist barking, old hound. Oh, oh, it's getting hot in here. Can we just skip this part? It's New Year's after all. And you're on duty, if I'm not mistaken, Martin. Where do you think you're going? That's it, boss, to serve and protect. Sonny was in the neighborhood and stopped by to say hi. He's a cop too, right? Only on paper, and you know that very well, detective. I don't want any trouble, boss. I just wanted to say hi to Monica, and then this feather pillow showed up. I invited him to grab a quick coffee. You can allow him that much, can't you? Your coffee breaks usually end up in shooting or brawling, chickens. Oh, just a coffee, boss, I swear. Oh, have a heart. It's New Year's Eve, and I haven't seen my old partner for so long. How touching. You shot him with a shotgun, if I remember. <laughs> Family quarrel. For all the marrow bones of the world, get the hell out of my sight. Have a lovely evening, boss. You especially. Fuck off right now, Santino. We can't avoid speaking with the chief first. And it would be nice to say goodbye to Monica, too. We're leaving, sweetheart. Stay safe, boys. I'm glad to see you two together again. I'm afraid you're alone with that. Hey, don't make me change my mind. You won't, Marty. I bet you can't wait to get mixed up in some serious trouble again. Yep, that's true. I'm serious, boys. Be careful out there. We're big birds, Monica. We can take care of ourselves. Mostly. Okay, but take care of each other, too. Will do, Monica. Yes, ma'am. To go, partner. It'll take half an hour or more to get there. To the club, then. I'm curious about the show. Look, Marty, we're not going there to have fun, okay? I know, I know. We worked together for ten years, remember? Nine. Oh, do you have any gum? Of course not. Chickens don't chew. Well, I'll go crazy on a long ride without it. And I'll go crazy from you beaking it. Ah, Sonny, it's a pleasure working with you again. Midnight had passed, and the intoxicated madness kicked in. We could only crawl along Shalva District's main street toward downtown. The city's heart beat differently. Ancient buildings were defaced by neon signs and billboards, like half-drunk lovers on a fine leather sofa, Great old houses neighbored by garish modern blocks. A place that makes the head hurt. The Tsar's huge neon sign was visible for miles 
A blazing red sign advertised tonight's main attraction, the amazing Natasha. Ah, cops were never welcomed at places like this. They hoped we were too late for the show. We had to be inconspicuous, but it was never easy with this bird mountain by my side. So this is the famous Czar Club. More like infamous, Marty. It's not for our kind, that's for sure. And I don't mean that they don't like foul here. Well, at least we don't have to be afraid that they see you as a detective, Boss Bird. Very funny, Marty. So what are we gonna do now? We find Natasha, the broad who sent me the message, remember? But first, we need to get into the club. And Marty, please, don't monkey this up. Excuse me? On behalf of the well-respected and noble primate community of Clawville? <laughs> Cut the crap, Marty. Let's focus on what we're here for, okay? As you say, Boss Bird. Honestly, I think these types of women only see faceless tuxedos, cufflinks, and wallets. And in the mirror, they're just brooches, necklaces, and earrings. Don't be so radical, Marty. They're women. They live by different rules. Mmm, that was kind of deep. It's not. Just bullshit. There's more where that came from. <laughs> Ooh, teach me, master. When you're old and wise like me, you'll realize none of it is worth a damn thing. Wait, that was deep again, right? Maybe it was, Marty. Maybe it was. Amazing. Please stop. Hey, that's your old friend, right? Wait, what was his name? Uh, Lawrence? Lamar? No, Liam. Lewis. Yes, it's him. To be honest, Sonny, I always thought that guy's not all there in the head. Nobody's perfectly sane in Clawville, Marty. But if not for this old rabbit, I wouldn't be here today. I'll never forget that. Should I thank him for that? Or kill him for it? You're reading my mind, boss. That fella's built like a brick shithouse. I don't think we'll be able to just sneak past him. Wanna bet? Not today, Marty. Remember, we must avoid suspicion. Ah, okay, okay. No trouble. I get it. It's okay, Bertha. Maybe next time. What was that? Uh, nothing. Just the wind. Did you bring Big Bertha with you? Gods, no. What are you thinking? What idiot would bring a shotgun to a club? Was that a rhetorical question? Howdy, pal. Gentlemen, how can I help you on this wonderful, chilly night? And we're expected in the VIP lounge. My apologies, but I don't remember ever seeing you gentlemen here before. May I ask? Now stop right there, big guy. I get it. Yeah, I know exactly how this works. So what do you have to do to get in? Nothing's easier, sir. Are you on the list? The list? Yeah, I... Uh, uh... Ah, don't tell me you forgot. I'm afraid I did, Marty. Sorry, big guy, but I'm pretty sure we're not on the list tonight. That's a shame. I'm really sorry, sirs. In that case, you can't come in. Yeah, right. Thanks. My pleasure, gentlemen. Befragen. Okay. Wir das mal aus. Wir befragen ihn mal mit unserer Polizei, Mark. Look, I really don't want any trouble, but... It is even more inconvenient for me, sir, but... This place doesn't like, uh, coppers. Forgive this line. I can't let just anybody in, and there are some I am strictly forbidden to. Please. You have to understand. Listen here, you cow. Do you have any idea who we are? You ever read the papers? Of course, I know who you are, sir. I get the news and more. And I must admit, it's an honor to meet you in person, Mr. Santino Featherland and Mr. Marty Machikin. The Bell of the Pantheres is one of my favorite books. 
Oh my god, not the books again. So it would be terribly inconvenient for me if I had to use force on you, gentlemen. What? what did you just say? Relax, Marty. This guy has chicks like you for breakfast. Uh, thanks for the information, pal. Uh, have a nice night. Thank you for understanding, gentlemen. And forgive me for my austere composition. No problem, Shakespeare. Das hat nicht geklappt. Okay. Suchen wir mal das mit unserer Kontaktperson, Natascha. What can you tell me about the first lady of the place, big guy? Uh, you mean Miss Natasha Katsenko, sir? You're right on point, pal. Nothing you don't know already, sir. Just try me. Well, she owns the place. And, uh, that's it? Well, that's, uh, <clears throat> unbelievable. Pardon, monsieur, but I'm not permitted to say anything more. Say, big guy, you know Mr. Lewis Hayworth? But of course. Mr. Hayworth is an impeccable gentleman. And also a frequent visitor of the club. Is that so? Good to know. And? I'm afraid that is all, monsieur. Tja. Lage besprechen. Let's just knock that giant out, shall we? Easy peasy. Let's just not do that, shall we? Okay. Ah, can we Lewis talk? Sonny, my dear friend. Hi, Lewis. This is my partner. But I'm sure you already know. You have no idea how happy I am to meet you, Mr. Marty. I'm a big admirer of your work. Pleasure's all mine, Lawrence. Lawrence? <clears throat> Anyways, so, the legendary chicken police, back together? <laughs> Isn't it amazing news? Don't ruffle my feathers, Lewis. Those days are long gone. We're just here for the entertainment. Or something like that. I see. Well, that's a sh 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 shame. See you inside? I have s something to do my... F pal, but I'll try to make it for the main event. Okay then, catch you later, pal. Tja, es hilft uns irgendwie nicht weiter, oder haben wir jetzt eine neue Gesprächsoption? Nö. Just one more thing. Uh, this list of yours. Uh, where should we sign up again? I'm afraid if you don't know, it's not my place to tell you, sir. Uh, Excusez-moi, uh, the regulations, you know. You hear that, Sonny? I do, Marty. I do. I'm gonna lose my crest from this guy. Just wait. Just don't get too excited, Marty. Not tonight. Anyway, uh, thanks, pal. Check mal das Hotel Atlas aus. Yeesh, my condolences, pal. I see your cleaning lady died. Yeah, she set foot in the bedroom once. I haven't seen her since. I didn't dare to go after her. Oh, I wouldn't want to go in there either. But what's that smell? Ah, cigarettes and whiskey. Yeah, with a hint of dirty laundry, but no, this is... Lavender? Ah, that. Right. Now that's got to be the Ibanez dame. You know, the broad who gave me the letter. And the job, obviously. Ah, uh, pretty, huh? I can smell it. She's an exotic, too. 
An Impala, maybe? Furry hell. That's why Chief Inspector Bloodboil hates you so much. He's jealous because your nose is better than a clucking bloodhound. <laughs> the bitter old dog. He just hates all foul. Ah, true. Except for Monica. Monica is a fairy, not a bird. So, <clears throat> what now? Now well, let's gather my stuff and head to the club. We gotta find out who this Natasha is and what she wants from us. I mean, what she really wants. Mm, after you, boss bird. I wouldn't like to touch anything in here anyway. If it's okay, I'll just stand around and stare out the window. <laughs> sure, just do it quietly. the last time I was here? I don't know. Years ago. When Molly left. Whew, that was a, a wild night. Yeah. You know, Sonny, you can call me. Not just when you want to investigate some shady case from a shady dame and you need a big meat shield to cover your ass. Times have changed, Marty. And I don't call anyone. All right, all right, boss bird. Whatever you say. Mm, it would be best to board it up. It'd go well with this rundown neighborhood. It may be run down, but somehow I still feel like it's honest. Sure, you could live in Cockroach Town. That's an honest place, too. Has a similar stink. Believe me, Marty, I thought about it. Uh, why am I not surprised? Look at these two simpletons. <laughs> they don't even realize their jackets are full of holes. For the wild god's sake, don't dare tell them. I already tried, but nothing happened. Figures. Hello, gents. Everything all right? Uh, everything's just fine, Sonny. Well, look, the chick police are together again. What a time to be alive. Am I right, Roy's? <laughs> You're right, Foss. Hey, that reminds me. Look at what I found under my coat. It's Her Majesty Big Bertha in the flesh. Whoa, 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 don't shoot. We were just joking, okay? We don't want any trouble. <laughs> yeah, I was just joking, too. <laughs> I'll never get bored with these two. They're so cute. I wonder why they thought you would shoot at another cop. Hey. It's just happened once, okay? Am I right, boys? You, 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 you're right, Marty. And we all know it was an accident. See? Hey, Monica. Remember that invitation from the other day? Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry, Marty. I'd love to, but I've got a lot of work to do. You know how it is. Please tell your sweetheart that I'm sorry. Okay, okay, I understand. No problem. We'll meet at the annual party anyway, right? Yeah, that's true. I'll tell Laura. Komm ich da jetzt nicht rein, weil es eine Demo ist, oder raff ich es einfach mal wieder nicht? I see you're swamped, buddy. I've sent the old lizard away. Ich werde jetzt die Dialogen ein bisschen skippen, weil ich ein bisschen weiter kann. Ah, ist genug Fragen. Das sieht mich aber alles nicht so sehr. Ja, What have you heard drin. about the hop dog? Da? 
What do you know about? They say he's attorney. Why you? It's yeah. As far as I'm concerned, he uh, no. Yeah. Why is it so? My oh, shit. I don't think. What is it? Not and you know then get. <sighs> we have no bit. What is it? Look, I'm fucker. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Have you started? I've heard your laughter. I promise my. I wanted to. Tr huh. The old. Di what? The nah. The I'm. Not yeah. It's like it wasn't even us. Ah, <sighs> man. Shut. You know, this city's out. Well, don't. Ah, uh, yeah. No. Sh So the Czar Club, huh? My city's on fire. Sounds good. It's not a clue. It's just a guide. By the way, it's New Year's Eve. Well, that's true. Nothing important, Marty. Ah, uh, yeah. Have you been there before? Ah, uh, no. Yeah. So we're not gonna mingle like this, right? We're not searching for a tailor on New Year's Eve, okay? That'll be ex- Let's just stay- What trouble? That's the spirit. So she maybe I was bored. Yeah, maybe I that's not <laughs> that's for sure. Oh hi Sinclair is do Yeah, I get oh if I don't wanna know Irgendwie komm ich hier nicht mehr weiter. Können wir ihm das nicht zeigen? Nö. Molly, my ex wife. Gentlemen. Hey, big guy. My name is Archibald, sir. Archibald Conway. Well, that's not a bob. Excuse me, monsieur. Archib... what? No way, that's not even a real name. I'm sorry to disappoint you, sir, but uh, my name is Archibald Conway, without any doubt. Blackjack Conway to my... Well, thanks, Blackjack. It was a pleasure. We'll be on our way now. Okay, jetzt haben wir einen Namen. Vielleicht können wir jetzt an der Police Station ein bisschen Dirt von ihm finden. Und ihn dann irgendwie so bestechen und dann reinkommen. Oder wir, wir klicken ihn einfach noch 50 Mal an. Say big guy, is this your job? To stand in front of the club and keep out decent fellows like us all night? Not entirely, monsieur. My employer has many other kinds of jobs for me. He is quite creative in his field, I must say. Like? Like what? Exactly. Sorry, monsieur. I'm not, uh... Permitted to say anything more about the matter. Regulations, yeah, I know. Uh, this bullshit just gave me a headache. So sorry to hear that, sir. Also, jetzt können wir aber nicht mehr mit ihm reden. Ausgeplaudert. Let's just not let... Okay. Look, Lewis. That bouncer over there. Yeah, so. Well, yes. He is a bit intimidating, but his... Um, manners are impeccable. Am I right? Yes, indeed. But it seems tonight we're not on his list. Oh. I see. Uh, um. Oh. I get it. I get it. <laughs> You'd like to go in, but he won't let you yeah something like that no 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 problem at all come with me i'll 
talk to him. Much obliged, pal. Yeah, thanks, Bunny. Excuse me. Ah, oh, jeez, what the hell's wrong with you, Marty? What? Did I say something wrong? How'd you do? Everything's fine, Mr. Aworth. Good. <clears throat> uh, look, this noble pair of pigeons are my friends. They're on the list, okay? Merci la mon, sir. And as for you, <clears throat> you owe me one, g g gentlemen. Thanks, old pal. It was my p pleasure to help you, as always. The Not jazz cable. overwhelmed us. There was no band in sight, yet the music seeped from the walls like years of cigarette smoke and the smell of spilt whiskey. Behind the bar, rows of fancy bottles reflected the harmonious voices of pretty dames and the clinking of crystal glass. It was the kind of place that makes you drunk, even if you've never had a sip. A dangerous place for someone like me. No matter how alien I felt, it was strangely like coming home. Welcome to the Tsar. <laughs> Here we are. Mother of... I take you to the nicest places, eh, sweetheart? Oh, does it mean you're buying, honey? Don't even think about it. Ah, oh, men these days. So, we're here to find a dame called Natasha. I have a hunch she won't be hard to find. Let's mingle and try to avoid suspicion. Just like always. No, Marty, not like always. This time it's for real. <laughs> hey, there's Philmar. Who? Oh, yes. Philmar. Because that's what he calls himself, right? You know him well? We had some seriously wild cases together, yes. Mainly in Averia, way before Clawville. Another place, and another life. Sounds good. Like the blurb of some cheap pulp fiction book. Yeah, it was the exact opposite. But the old bird's worth saying hi to. Well, well. If it isn't the great detective, Marlowe. Blow me, Sonny. You know I don't use that name anymore. Okay. Mr. Dumbass alias Phil Marlowe. So says someone who tried to go undercover with a feather pillow mafia is a turkey. Right, Mr. Turk Cayman? Hey, that was a long time ago. I was young. And I stick to my principles and my stupidity. Phil Marlowe and that's that. Don't rile me up, you old fart. Okay, okay, fair enough. Sorry, I'm a little clocked tonight. Uh, I know the feeling, pal. By the way, what are you two doing here? You stick out a bit. Are you here for a good old-fashioned beating? We stick out? Man, you look terrible. Like someone who sat on an electric pole. Don't even ask. I feel exactly like that. You want a case? Five feet tall, half of that legs. Angelic voice, demonic eyes, just the usual. Oh, boy. And you? Something like that. Just don't know the exact numbers yet. A dame named Natasha. She called us here. If I'm not mistaken, the joint is hers. Yeah, she owns the joint, amongst others. Well, good luck, guys. That broad has a reputation. She's not the kind to toy with, if you know what I mean. Any useful information? For free? Stop clucking around, Philmar. All right, but just because of the old days. Look for me after you've talked to her. You wouldn't understand what I have to say about her before then. Don't leave unless you're thrown out, in which case, you know the drill. We don't know each other, I'll deny you in a blink. Good to see you too, old pal. We'll be back. Okay, reden wir mal mit Natascha und dann gehen wir jetzt viel zurück. Jetzt hat sie wohl den Club betreten. 
reden? Oder, Oder sind die Füchse neu hier? Viel zu viele Leute. Ah, eben. Schon viel früher gehört. Just act nonchalant, my friend. No, it can't be. What now? Is that Olivia? No, Marty. Hey, uh, Olivia. Are you talking to me? It's me, Marty McChicken. Oh, God. What a pleasant surprise. The Rooster Coppers in person. Chicken police. But yeah, Mr. Wessler, you could say so. The name's... Sunny Featherland, of course, of course. Chicken police. Your partner is, uh, he is, uh, Marty McChicken. Sir, I, I just introduced myself to your lady companion seconds ago. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy to see you. Hello, boys. So, to what do we owe this pleasure, gentlemen? Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> we, we were, um, just in the neighborhood, and... Yeah, das geht wesentlich länger, als ich gedacht hätte, ehrlich gesagt. Ich überspringe das jetzt hier mal. Das können wir eben fragen. Look, Detective, if you want to know something... All right, Mr. Wessler. Ah, jetzt können wir ihn vernehmen. Okay, das ist neu. Wessler is a tricky guy. Unfortunately, I don't know enough about him, so I have to be cunning. I can't just pin him against a wall. Yet. Also, wir haben es mit Robert Ivan Wessler zu tun. Wessler ist ein Christen christenes Kerlchen. Leider weiß ich zu wenig über ihn, also muss ich gewürzt sein. Ich kann nicht einfach in die Ecke drängen, jedenfalls noch nicht. Er ist durchtrieben. Und unser Detective Meter ist eher negativ. Was haben Sie gedacht, als Sie von der Erpressung hörten? How did you feel when you heard about the blackmail? Honestly, I found it ridiculous. And now? Now I'm kind of interested. But I wouldn't call it blackmail yet. They're just empty threats. There were no demands. Good point. Thank you. Are we done? No, not quite. I'm sorry to hear that. So a bit of New Yorker accent, this kicked echt ganz good. Why didn't you just call the police? Huh? Why? What would have been the use of that? A few messages aren't enough for a case. You should know that. Harassment makes for a case. So do threats. Who are you trying to convince, Sonny? Huh? They would have laughed in my face. Anyway, you know, the police station. Once I set foot in there, nah, I'm not coming out again. Your lawyers are too good for that, Eben. Yeah, I guess you're right, chicken. Why would anyone have reason to blackmail your girlfriend? I don't know, uh, maybe because she's my girlfriend? You think that's enough? It's plenty enough. Good point. Oh, are you finally getting to a point? Or do you really want to dig around in my private life? Because, uh, people who do that end up in the alley, if you catch my drift. Very much so, Mr. Wessler. Wessler is tougher than I thought. And he's secretive. It's time to gently beat around the bush. Naja, es ist seine Freundin, also natürlich stehen sie sich nahe. Gab es vergleichbare Vorfälle? Were there any similar incidents in Natasha's past? I mean, threats, blackmail, enemies or insane fans, psychopath pianists perhaps. I don't know about enemies, but she's a celebrity. A star shining bright in Clawville's night sky. Do you understand? She gets endless fan mail. It could be anybody. Eh, I wouldn't overreact. Natasha doesn't feel that way. I've noticed. Detective Meta is a bit positive. Ich habe schon einen besseren Eindruck von ihm. Er ist durchtrieben, misstrauisch, geheimnistorisch und aufbrausend. 
Also das mit dem Klartext können wir glaube ich vergessen. Ja, ist denn alles in Ordnung zwischen dir und Natascha? Is everything all right between you and Natascha? Yeah, you don't beat around the bush, do you? Hm. Understandable, I guess. Naturally, our relationship is stable and perfect. I'm the setting, she's the gemstone. Yeah, if you know what I mean. I rarely hear such poetry, but uh, I understand exactly what you mean, Mr. Wessler. So, you have your answer. No recent friction? Hm. Wouldn't you like to know? It would make my job easier. Yeah, it would only lead you astray. So be glad that I tell you no. No friction. Ibn is quick-tempered, and I can use that to my advantage. I've confounded and softened him with my previous questions. Now it's time to be specific and ruthless. The mob boss and the pussycat, eh? How did you even meet? Huh? Are you trying to piss me off, Corpora, so I accidentally let some big secret slip out, huh? A simple answer would work. <sighs> you know, Natasha, she's both connoisseur and muse. Uh, uh, so, uh, how was it? Uh, uh, when was it exactly? You don't remember? That's strange. Ah, yeah. The millions, of course. It was like another lifetime. It happened. No, I guess she was willing. The next day, she had the club in her name. Well, that is romantic. Yeah, there are many. Do you live in the same house? Oh, you're really something. Natasha's a free woman, but mostly, yeah, at my place in Gold Town. Mm. How often does she use the weekend house? Yeah, every other weekend. I see. That's very important information. Yeah, if you say so. Is she completely alone when she's there at the weekend? As I've told you, Natasha's is a free woman, eh? She's an adult. Are you afraid for her? You know, a big star like... I never said a black car doesn't drive by two or three times a day, but uh, it's just caution. Huh. I suppose not. So Natasha feels like she's in grave danger. Yeah, I know what you're getting at. But I'm 100% sure of her loyalty. She's gone out very rarely since this started, and... Hmm, illegal gambling night. <laughs> you got me there. Yeah, you're right. Natasha is crazy by the roulette wheel. Always putting it all on the red, right? Yeah, you're a real rotten bastard, Sonny. Although, yeah, always... So, can we meet your lady? Mm, I don't see why not. But first, please, listen to her sing. She's on soon. Nicht schlecht, ey. Für das, dass ich viel Thank you for your time. Hab. We'll be seeing you. Hey, uh, we should uh, grab a coffee or something, Olivia. You know, for old times' sake. Pleasure to meet you, gentlemen. Goodbye. Please take a seat. The show's gonna start <laughs> soon.
That was, um, unique. Oh, that is cute. Nobody has ever given me such a unique compliment before. Uh, forgive me, my name is San... <laughs> I thought so. You look more or less like I... More or less? Sometimes less is more... Ahem. <clears throat> You were amazing, dear. As could you be my little furball and fetch me a cocktail? But of course. Ibn will be back soon. We'll have a few minutes to talk. Then he'll end the conversation and throw you both out. <laughs> With all due respect, ma'am, we're not that easy to get rid of. Doesn't matter. <sighs> Doesn't matter, he'll do it. That's why I'm telling you. I don't want a scene. <laughs> My room's upstairs. Meet me there in 20 minutes. Come alone, Sonny. You'd be too conspicuous otherwise. Hey, I understand. You know, they call him Target Marty at the station. I don't have time, Mr. Featherland. Oh, sure thing, Natasha. I'll come to your room. Three knocks, a short pause, then another three. I'll be waiting. Go, before he comes back. I knew she was trouble the first time I saw her. She wore danger like a perfume. It was simply part of her being, and it attracted me like light attracts the moth people. I wanted to be the microphone as she whispers her melodies, or the pillow she rests her feet on while reading some cheap romance. I wanted to be her nightdress, barely... Sicherheitsabstand, ja, eineinhalb Meter. Next time on Ach, Chicken schon. Police. I get offended if women don't drink in my company. Oh, you are a funny guy. Clucking hell. Welcome to the sweltering Nile, gentlemen. Marty, that's enough. Then What? two cocks suddenly learn to fly and even swim by God. One more word. I'll bite off your arm. Please tell me there's gonna be a glorious shootout. Yes. Keep it straight, Sonny. Oh, nice. Shut up and shoot, you big feather pillow. Of all that's furry and bluey, that's fantastic. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's stop it right there. Das scheint echt gut gemacht zu sein. Da freue ich mich schon drauf. Chicken Police Painted Red. Das war unsere relativ kurze, in Anführungsstrichen, Anspielsession. Kommt also für die Switch, für den PC, über Steam und GOG und für die Xbox One und PlayStation 4. Kann man jetzt auch schon mitschlisten. Demo schon mal sehr umfangreich, aber ich hätte natürlich noch gerne gesehen, wie dieser Fall dann weitergeht. Ja, jetzt machen wir eine kurze Pause und dann streamen wir noch ein paar Demos. Danke fürs Zusehen. Und schreibt natürlich gerne, gerne eure Meinung in die Kommentare dazu und lasst auch ein Like da, wenn es euch gefallen hat. 